Welcome to Flat AT Jerry. In this video, we'll talk about a very small topic called vertical divider in Flutter. So without wasting time, let's get started. Vertical divider displays a thin vertical line on UI that contains padding on the left and right side. It is internally made using a container wrapped inside the size box. We use this widget inside the horizontal list or the place where horizontal separation of content is to be presented. Now let's say this vertical divider practically. We have a row as a body of scaffold and the row has got two containers. The first one is the container having blue shade and another one is a container that contains a purple color shade. In between that one, I have placed a vertical divider here. So I hope you can see this vertical divider which is not actually visible here. So in order to make it properly visible, we can change the color of this vertical divider. For that reason, we can use property called color. And let me pass some color here. Say, I will use here, say color, start, say orange. Or let's say a red here. So that will be properly visible here. Now I hope you can see this. So this is a thin vertical line as the vertical divider we can see here. So let me use a property called thickness that allows us to change uh, the thickness of this vertical divider. So let me use the thickness here, say 10 pixel. So you can see now it is called a uh, thicker line here. Let me use a property called width here. Width is basically the total of thickness along with the left side and right side padding. For example, let's say if I use value of this width is 30 here. So it means the, there is the 10 pixel thickness of this divider and there is a 10 pixel gap on there is a, the 10 pixel padding on the left side and a 10 pixel padding on the right side. In case of vertical divider, we don't have the separate uh, padding on the left and right side. Instead, the left and right side padding has to be managed using the width property so uh, you have to make proper calculation that uh, means what size uh, you want for the left and right side padding and what thickness you want so make sure to make some calculations here uh, we can also apply the padding that is some empty space at the beginning and end of this uh, vertical divider uh, for that reason we have the properties called indent and in indent so let me use property called indent using which we can apply some empty space that is padding at the top side of this vertical divider let's say if i use 50 here you can see there's a gap of 50 pixel at the beginning or the top side of this vertical divider. In the same way, we can use property called in ending. Let me use say value 80 here so that we can have 80 pixel gap at the end or say at the bottom side of the vertical divider. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.